Hey you guys, today I'm going to do Bad Girls Club Chicago Season 12 Episode 10 Review. It won't even be that long because the episode was basically boring as hell. Like, super boring. Wait, hold on. Okay, so Red's still arguing with the, um, with Laura, the, uh, life coach or whatever. Still being dramatic, still being immature as fuck, but, um... She was like, well, you know, that don't trigger me as my daddy issues and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, girl, boo, you just trying to get extra crown behind. That's what that is. So after she goes off or whatever, the producer goes in there like, we can't be having that shit. This lady is here to do her job. We can't be having that. So she, you know, basically go apologize because her ass don't want to go home where the shit she just or whatever, so her and Blue go in there and she apologized. Blue was just like, what the fuck? Because Laura was crying. Why? I don't understand why she was crying, but they hugged it out and it was stupid. AJ and her boyfriend, why? I don't get it. You, The way she talked about this dude, I'm sitting there like, well, why you with him? Why you with him? If this motherfucker didn't matter to him and take the sheets and shit, why the hell are you with him? And then, you're not too invested in this relationship if you always in the bed with Blue. Come on now. Like, shut that shit down. Then Laura talks to Slim about standing up for herself and all this shit and showing emotions. But I'm with Alex. Like, I opened up to these sorry hoes. Like, why? Why should she have to invest her time and be open with these fake ass bitches. Probably gonna throw some shit up in her face. I, that ain't what she there to work on. She ain't work. She ain't there to work on being these hoes friends. She was there to work on her her daddy issues and mom issues. She not there to be these hoes friends. And I wouldn't be either. Like I agree with Alex. Like bitch, I don't wanna be like y'all. So why? Why? Great. She up in her feelings. She don't even want to talk to Laura because she feel like she don't have nothing to work on. But she all of a sudden ready to go home. I uh, bitch, we've been ready for you to go home for the last four episodes. Probably was this what ten? Probably the last eight episodes. Cause we can care less if you there. Like you said, you serve no purpose in the house. Um, Lauren and Laura they talk about her anger issues because she needs to learn how to control her shit. Instead of always popping off and want to fight. Still don't like her. I don't like Laura. I mean, Lauren. No. She's still fake as fuck to me. Then you got Blue and Laura. They, she she got commitment issues. She's just like her daddy. Her daddy was a hoe. He taught her how to be a hoe. Um, She don't really talk about her mama because her daddy hurt her mama. But I'm like... You don't want to talk to Laura about your issues, but you wanted everybody else to talk to Laura about their issues. Come on. Come on, Blue. Like, I was liking Blue, but these last couple episodes just make me look at her real side eyes. Like, I just be feeling like you just like the rest of the bitches in the house. And I'd be so glad that when Slim finally caught that shit out the way um Blue be trying to manipulate everybody, because I agree with it. Um, what else I want to talk about? They went to go watch football. Everybody except Britt and, um, Asia. And they was having a nice fucking time, chilling. All of a sudden, Red wants to pop off of us some goddamn hot sauce. I'm like, bitch, lift the hot sauce off your leg and keep it pushing. Hey, you just there to just start bullshit. And I'm so ready for her to go home. It's not even funny, because I'm be like, you're the negative energy in the fucking house. Um, what else? Blue. Um, no. Asia, my condolences go out to you, boo, because her grandmother passed away this episode, and that was really hard on her because I think her grandmama was like the glue to host the family together. And I know how that feels. When you have your grandmother pass away, that holds the family together, and then the family falls apart. So I get what. Um, you know, while she was crying, my, you know, prayers and condolences go to her. She ended up going home to the grand funeral, 
went home to talk to her boyfriend to see if they can work their relationship out. And I'm like, girl, why? He's such a bad guy. Why would you want to go back and fall into the same bullshit? But like I said, she not she not securing herself, so that's what happens. Um, Slim goes on the modeling job because she the only bitch in there that got some something going for herself. And these bitches is hating. Then when she told Red that she was going out with her boyfriend to bowl, and Red got mad talking about that's her problem. She don't tell nobody what she going. Bitch, she told you what she was doing. Then she went to have bowling. She bowled with her dude before the modeling. She, she went out with her dude. She went bowling with him. He banged her out. Her wall was towed up by the time she got to the modeling shoe. Because I was like, why are you telling this lady that, that he bowled you out? Like, ew. But okay. Um... The girls go to the skyscraper thing in Chicago that was like 103 stories. I'm sorry. I know y'all was looking like bitch. I'm not getting on that skyscraper with her big ass. I'm just in no shape to big people. But bitch, that was all glass. And it was too, already too many of y'all. Then you gonna air red on them goddamn. Mm -mm. Then she rolled her ass up out of there to the floor. I was like, I was just like, bro, like, bitch, you always gotta be then they got mad mm -hmm. at Slim for not jumping up and down or whatever they was taking the picture. But I'm like, Red Big Ass didn't jump up either. So why are y'all getting mad at her? But whatever. So then, like I said, they have fun there. And then it ends off with Lauren kind of going at Britt because of Britt's negative attitude. And I was like, yeah, you keep saying you're going to pop off on her. Uh, you will fight her and all this kind of shit. But bitch, you ain't moving that nor do so shut that shit down. But, yes, yeah, like I said, nothing really happened. Only had one little page of notes. So you know nothing happened on the Bad Girls Club. Um, it's going to be off for two weeks. And then we're going to see the parents come. And, and then I think that's the episode that Red is going to go home. Because she's going to pop off on Jada. And I'm like, you big fucking grizzly bear. Come on now. But whatever. That's my review for the Bad Girls Club Chicago. Uh... Season 12, episode 10 review. Tell me what y'all thought about this episode, because I thought it was some bullshit. Um, <laughs> yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Plus. I'm still trying to work this out. Shit, I'm telling you, I'm sitting on my walker right now, because my legs hurt. I'm just saying. But, still trying to get these reviews out. I'm about to record the half and the half not, so I hope y'all roll with me with that video, too. All right, peace out.